guys, welcome to the workbench today. Please excuse the mess. Today we're going to follow up on the Atlas Signal series and hack the Atlas Signal hookup cable as well as build our own. And welcome to Model Railroading Made Simple. So part of the Atlas signal system you also need to buy is a signal attachment cable for about $8. It comes with two connectors, one for the old Atlas O-Scale system, which has the blue wire in the mix, and the other wire for all other hookups. I see why Atlas wanted to be backwards compatible, but the cost of the cable, plus the uselessness of the other connector, got me thinking there must be a better way. And of course there is. For starters, we can cut off the wire that has the blue wire in the mix and repurpose it into another signal attachment cable. I picked up this bag of Cat5 connectors for a few bucks on Amazon, probably enough for a lifetime. Now we just need to get the right pins in the right places. Luckily there are only four wires per cable, and it's the middle four that Atlas uses for the common, and the red, green, and yellow signal lights. On the signal cable, the wires make sense, red for red, and so on, with the black wire being common. But with the old Atlas wire coloring, it's the following. Yellow is yellow, green is the blue wire, red is the brown wire, and the common wire is clear. So lining those up, insert them into the middle slots with yellow starting on the number 3 pin on the RJ45 connector from the right side as seen upside down. If you get confused, just compare to one of the Atlas cables for reference. I bought this crimper for 12 bucks and it works just fine cut off any excess cable. And now you're done. You've just cut the cost of the signal cable in half. You can also extend the cable to any length desired. But how about cutting the signal cable out entirely and doing it for spare change from your couch? I had some Cat6 cable that I cut to a length that I wanted. There's plenty of good videos out there about making Cat5 and Cat6 cable so I won't go into detail here. But as long as you keep your colors straight, you can use any of the eight wires. Here's the RJ45 end and we'll just give it a crimp and that side is ready to go. Now for the connector to the Atlas signal. This connector was a bit harder to find, but after some trial and error, here's the DigiKey part number. There's a couple connectors I found that work, but this one seems to be the one Atlas used. So again, comparing to the Atlas attachment cable, I went ahead and soldered the connector to the corresponding colored wire I chose. My shrink tubing was a bit big, but it works. The Cat6 cable is probably way overkill for your four signal wires, and I also made some shorter cable using Digitrex decoder wire that worked just fine. So there you have it, the Atlas Signal System cable hack. I hope you find this useful, and keep it on the rails. That thing literally just went...